start seated at the very end of your foam roller and start to curl the tailbone under and just start to roll all the way down until your whole spine is supported with the foam roller. So from head to tail, you're grounded, supported. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, allow your front ribs to start to soften down towards those back ribs. And you find a little less space between you and that foam roller. A few more breaths, inhaling wide into your ribs and letting those exhales, allowing the ribs to soften back in and settle heavier down to the foam roller. We'll do one more deep breath in. Again, exhale, front ribs start to knit together and down as you pull the belly button to the spine. Nice neutral pelvis here, natural curvature of your low back. Let's float your arms all the way up towards the ceiling and all the way back. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let your arms reach up towards the ceiling and all the way down to the mat. Two more breaths. Inhale, arms reach up over the head. Exhale, front ribs start to knit, belly button pulls to the spine. One more time, arms reach all the way back. And you exhale, front ribs knit. Adding on, arms reach up towards the ceiling this time. Start to cervical nod, chin to the chest, front ribs knit together, and down as you curl up to your first Pilates curl. Check in, you haven't dumped through your low back, lengthen through that tailbone, and then lower your head back down, inhale. Exhale to curl, chin over that chest, and then inhale, lengthen back down. Continue here with these curls. Good, feel rooted down to those feet. Check in that your tailbone is weighted heavy and it hasn't curled up to the ceiling. We'll do five. Exhale, front ribs slide down those bellies. Four. Three more. Two. You're gonna curl up and stay up on one. Wrists right in line with those hips. Have your palms face in and inhale, open your arms out to the sides of the room, and then exhale, lengthen your arms forward. Inhale again, widen through those ribs. Exhale, pull the belly in. You've got four. You've got three. Can we curl up a little higher? Last two. Last one. Good. Have your palms face the mat again and lower your head down. Second round, breathing in. Nod the chin, curl right back up. This time, have your palms face in. Arms reach up towards the ceiling on your exhale and then they reach forward on the breath in. Arms reach forward and up and they reach back out. Keep going here. Make sure you haven't Drop down a set of bones as you float the arms up. You're lifted. Four, and we hold. Three, arms up to the sky. Or ceiling. Two. Last one. Palms for to the mat and rest your head down. Stay here for a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good. From here, float the arms up back towards the ceiling. This time you're gonna open them out to the sides of the room and then exhale, float them back up. Two more, just opening through the pecs and exhaling one more time. Good, you wanna drop your elbows down to the mat. Pausing here, take a deep breath in. I want you to start to float your right leg into tabletop on your exhale and then inhale, place that right foot down and then march your left leg into tabletop. If you need more stability here, please do press your palms down to the mat using more of the arms to help support you here. If you want less support, go back to those elbows. We'll do four more to each side. Nice deep flexion through the front of the hip. Good. Try to minimize the shift of weight from side to side in that pelvis. The next time your right leg's up into tabletop, hold it up. Your left arm is gonna reach up towards the ceiling in that position. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, you're gonna extend your right leg out and your left arm back. And then you're gonna draw it back to center. Keep going here. Exhale to extend, and then inhale to bend. So we're really lengthening that left hip heavy down. Our right hip is lengthening in line with our left hip, but we're really focusing on really grounding down to that left foot. 
The left knee probably wants to open a little bit to the left, so really hug it into your midline. We've got three. We've got two. One more. Hold it here, take a breath. Left elbow down. Nod the chin, the exhale, and curl the head, heart, and shoulders up. Right toe reaches to the mat. Exhale, lift it up. Tap the right toe towards the front of the mat, and then lift it up. Keep going with this toe tap for six, five, four, three, two. Hold your right leg up on one, take a breath. Bring your left leg to meet it, hold it here. Take an inhale, squeeze your inner thighs together, curl up a little higher, place your right foot down, and rest your head down. Right arm up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in. Left arm, right leg, extend, exhale, reach, 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 and then inhale, draw it back in. Keep going. So again, we're grounding down to that right hip, that opposite hip, stabilizing, root down to that right foot. Nice. And one side might feel a little shakier than the other. Just check in on that. Inner thighs hugging that midline. Keep reaching out in opposition. Last two. Make sure those front ribs knit together and down. One more. Hold it up. From here, drop your right elbow, and on your exhale, curl the head, heart, and shoulders up. Left toes tap. Exhale, lift. You tap. And lift. Crease up a little higher for six. You've got five. Four. Check in with that neutral pelvis. Three. Think of lengthening that left thigh away from the navel. Last two, last one. Float the left leg to tabletop. Bring your right leg to meet it. Draw the low abs in. We're going for both toes to tap towards the floor on the inhale. And then exhale, drive them back up. You can always drop your head down, right? So if you're getting any tension in the neck or shoulders, this exercise is very effective with the head down and shoulders down. Keep thinking those front ribs knitting together and down. Palms could come down. You can curl the head, heart, and shoulders up. We've got five more and we'll finish this here. Four. Heavy toe. Three. Two. Last one. And then finally place one foot down, the other foot down, and rest. Reach those arms all the way up and back like we did earlier this time. Expand your ribs, widen your elbows to the sides of the room, and circle them back down or around. Two more circles, breathing in. Last one. Keep the arms long beside you. Right leg into tabletop. Settle those ribs down. Left leg to tabletop. Extend your right leg out long to a high 45. Draw the navel in, and on your exhale, you slice. Good, inhale, exhale, extend and reach. We're going into the single leg stretch. Check in that those two bottom ribs are knit together and down. You can stay here, start to curl the head, heart, and shoulders up. Really, again, extend those legs long. If you want a little challenge, maybe your right leg reaches a little lower. You can stay here with the head lifted. Again, can you continue with that head down? We're gonna go to a bicycle. So right leg extends and lengthens. Left leg reaches out as the right leg bends. Check in that your pelvis is nice and stable. You've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse that direction. So one leg reaches to the wall, one leg reaches to the sky. Again, check in that that pelvis is nice and stable. Let's curl up a little higher for five, four, three, two, one. Meet both legs up to the ceiling. Maybe bend your knees, take a breath, curl up a little higher, place one foot down and the other foot down and rest. Bend your elbows like you want to punch the roof, fist up to the sky. Ground down to the feet, extend your left arm out beside you. You're just gonna ground down to your right foot, 
more weight into your right elbow and just shift the spine, more weight into that right arm, right foot, opening up through the left side of that chest. Good, and then exhale, bring your way back to center. Left elbow plants down, right arm reaches out to the right. Think of maybe reaching up to the high diagonal and then shift more weight into that left foot, left elbow. Just think of moving away from that right arm. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring it back to center. Extend your left leg long. From here, just roll off to your right side. Gracefully head onto the floor, grab the foam roller, lift your pelvis up, and you're gonna take the foam roller right underneath those hips. So right at the top of the sacrum, you don't want it your low back. And then from here, you could plant your hands to the sides of the foam roller, rest them on top, float one leg into tabletop, and then the other leg. So knees floating right over those hips. You might need to adjust the foam roller. You want to round the spine. You want to think of your tailbone kind of arcing up and over that foam roller. Front ribs knit together and down. From here, take a deep breath in and start to extend your legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Good. Externally rotate your thighs. You're going to inhale. Open your legs out a little wider than that foam roller. Good, and then you're gonna exhale, extend your legs back up towards the ceiling, squeezing your inner thighs together. Keep going here. So you're gonna reach those legs out to the sides of the room, and then reach out to left. Scoop the navel in, squeezing those inner thighs together. A few more here. Good. Just finding a little stretch and a little squeeze of those inner thighs. So a little work, a little release. Two more and we're gonna add on. Last one. Good, right leg is gonna reach and hover the floor. Take a deep breath and use the exhale, pull the navel spine and resist your leg back up towards the ceiling. Left leg lengthens and lowers, right leg reaching up towards the sky in opposition, and then use that exhale to bring it back up. Keep alternating side to side. Check in that those two bottom ribs are still knit together and down. Good. Keep alternating right. And left. One more to each side. Squeeze both heels together. Both legs are gonna lower. And then they're gonna exhale, lift. Good, lengthen, legs lower down. And then they exhale to lift. So if you have any tension in your neck or shoulders as the legs lower, you probably have gone too far. So minimize the range of movement. Again, still very effective to do less here. Really thinking of that tailbone still arcing over that foam roller. Nice neutral pelvis. Good, we have three and we're gonna add on. Two. On the next one, you're gonna press those legs out and hold them out. Rest, stretch them a little longer, legs open on the breath in, and then they exhale close. So just like earlier, we're activating those inner thighs. We're now really focusing on those low deep abs, stabilizing our low back here. Nice neutral pelvis. Good, let's beat it in, accident for six. And five, four, three, two, hold the heels together. Little beats all the way up towards the ceiling. And then little beats right back down to that diagonal. Choose your diagonal and stick to it. Four, five, and exhale. Just breathing, reaching those legs up. Keep beating, exhaling. Let's do two more sets. Exhaling. One more set. And lengthen those legs back out to that high diagonal. Take a deep breath in, draw that navel in, and then bend your knees into the chest. Really good work. Let's take a little stretch here, right foot to the floor. Let's do the left foot to the floor. Just open up through those hips. Good, maybe your legs wanna extend really long towards the corners of the mat. Get a little release here. 
and then walk your feet on in lift the knees in and up towards the chest and then just gracefully take that foam roller out from underneath you we're gonna do some bridging here so ground down into those feet so i like to press into the arches of my feet knees floating again right over my hips arms long by my sides use the arms press down to the feet press down to those arms curl the tailbone on your exhale and start to peel those hips up for your first shoulder bridge pause here at the top make sure the foam roller doesn't slide from out from underneath you you want to really squeeze those heels in towards your bum oh really turning on those hamstrings hold it here take a breath and then slowly on the exhale soften the ribs down firstly and then articulate one bone at a time until the tailbone hits heavy inhaling at the bottom exhale curl it right back up good keep hugging those inner thighs together and then rinse the spine back down three more two knees tracking over those toes you're gonna meet me up in your next bridge and hold it on up. Again, you can bend at your elbows and place your hands on your hips. Take a deep breath in, low abs draw you in. Exhale, float your right leg into tabletop. Keep that right hip lifted as you place your right foot back down. Left leg marches into tabletop and then place it back down. Keep alternating here for the next eight. Front ribs knit together and down. You've got seven. Good, six. Lots of support with that hamstring here. Three. Two. Last one. Press into both feet, lift your seat up a little higher, and then exhale, roll back down. We got one more variation, stay with me. Take a breath, arms long by your sides, curl the tailbone under lift those hips up from here you're going to keep the pelvis lifted you're going to extend the foam roller out a few inches and then draw the foam roller in a few inches so the foam roller reaches out and then you draw it back in we're here for eight again keep curling that tailbone seven six five four three two Last one, hold that foam roller and you're gonna lower and lift your hips. Finishing this here. Good. A little squeeze where the glutes smile. Last seven and six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe and then slowly roll it all the way down. Nice work. Extend your legs long. Reach your arms over your head. Take a deep stretch here flex all ten toes back and then when you're ready arms float up to the ceiling take a deep breath in start to float your head heart and shoulders up see your ten toes and then reach up and dive for them and enjoy the stretch lift your chest up take an inhale and then see what you can grab shins ankles foam roller and let your spine round Stack the spine all the way on up. We're gonna come to hands and knees. You wanna place the foam roller about three quarters of the way, and then place your shins on top of the foam roller. You can kneel for now, and then just have your shoulders over your wrists. All right, once you're there, take a deep breath in. I want you to flare your sit bones, drop the belly, lift your chest, lift your gaze, and then Scoop the navel in, press into the palms, press down onto those shins and scoop the low abs in. One more like this. Inhale, look forward, look out, look up. And then scoop the belly in, round your spine. Now you can stay here or hover your knees for the next few. So knees underneath those hips, shoulders over the wrist. Inhale, flare your sit bones, look up. Exhale, scoop, really press into those palms, draw the belly in, heavy your head. Good. and then you're actually rotating those upper arm bones. So your elbows, the pointy parts of your elbows are reaching back towards those hips. We'll do one more. And 
And then you're gonna gaze down between the hands and find a more neutral pelvis. Natural curvature of your low back. Draw the belly in, take a breath. Feel your frontal ribs knit together and down. One more here. Widen to your rib cage. Belly pulls to the spine. From here, I want you to extend just your right leg out and then bring it right back in. And then your left leg extends out long and then you bring it back. So hips stay nice and parallel to the floor. Press evenly into both palms. And we're just extending one leg out. Try not to change that spine. Crown the head is reaching to one wall. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. Pause, take a breath, and rest your knees down. From here, walk your hands, one hand print forward. Press the hips gently forward, you're in a modified plank. From here, shoulder blades. Let's hug the shoulder blades to the spine, press into the palms and you protract them. A few more, just finding that stability in our shoulders before we find our full expression of our plank. So we're hugging the scapulas to the spine and pressing the floor away, really broadening through the shoulder blades. Two. Last one. Now from here, ground down to the shins, float the knees up, your legs are straight, you're in a full plank. Pause here, really press into the palms, you're gonna inhale, bend the knees underneath the hips, and then exhale, extend out to your plank. If that is too much, you're just holding that plank. Again, breath under those armpits, low abs, pull those knees into the chest. We're here for four and it's over. Stay with me. Three, two, last one. Knees come right back underneath those hips. Rest the knees down. Nice work. We're gonna take a child's pose, come to those feet, reach the foam roller forward, open your knees wide and send the chest towards the floor. Getting a nice stretch through those pecs. Breathe into your back body. Allow your tailbone to weight heavy. One more breath in. And a nice long exhale out. Roll up to seated. We're gonna finish with some push-ups. So you wanna take your foam roller vertically. So let's start with the left side and your hands are actually in line with each other. So your shoulders are square and your hips are square to the floor. You can start on your knees. You're gonna bend both elbows down, chest falls to the ground and you exhale. Press back up, sink the foam roller to the right side. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend, and then shift the foam roller to the left. So you can definitely stay here, right? Modified plank, working on that shoulder stability. If you'd like a little more, you can take the next few with the 10 toes tucked under and find that full plank. Keep reaching the crown of the head to one wall, the tailbone to the other. Whew, these are hard. You can always drop back down to the knees. I'm gonna do that for the next four. Take these slow, three, Two, last one, and done. Now take it horizontally, set it again about three quarters to the edge of your mat. Turn around, reach your legs long, curl the tailbone, and let that foam roller hit right at the base of the shoulder blades. Hands interlaced behind the head, grab that skull, thumbnails nice and long across the neck and then let your head heavy into the hands as you lift your eyes up to the sky and look back. Deepen your breath here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just allow your ribs to set a little heavier. Your skull will rest a little heavier into your hands as well. Another breath. Good. Float the elbows up to the ceiling. Frame that face. And then cervical nod that chin in to curl the head, heart, and shoulders up. Stay here at the base of the shoulder blades, bend one knee, bend the other, lift your hips, and then just start to rock and go forward and back, staying through that upper back, just where we hit, right between those shoulder blades. Hamstrings are helping us, right? 
take our spine forward and back. And then maybe you want to head over to that left scapula, open up that left elbow a little bit, look towards the outer left hip. Finding center, look over to the right, open up that right elbow a bit. And then make your way back to center, lower your hips down, extend your legs long out in front of you. Reach the arms up over the head, take a deep breath in, arms up to the ceiling, now the chin, scoop the navel in, and then just round the spine forward, reach for those toes. Good. And lastly, to finish, bring that foam roller towards you. You want to step your left foot on top of the foam roller, right knee underneath the hip. Just come upright, tuck your tailbone a little bit, hands can rest on top of that knee. Take a deep breath in. Just think of curling the tailbone a little more and bringing the pelvis forward. For a deeper stretch, right arm reaches up to the sky or ceiling, take a breath in and side bend to the left. Just a little bit. Maybe look up and take a final breath in here on this side. And then come all the way on up. Bring your hands to the foam roller, left foot, left, left knee down, right foot to the foam roller. Walk your hands up. Again, gentle tuck of that tailbone. Think of driving that pubic bone forward. Good. Releasing that right hip down. Left arm reaches up in that position. Take a breath. You're just gonna side then up and over to the right. Deep breath into that left side, maybe look up. See if you can deepen that stretch. Good, bring your weight all the way on up, guys. Bring those knees to kiss, sit your butt down, and you guys are all done.